at the storage unit. We have some sales to go over. Sales weren't bad. We actually had one of our record weekends, I think, last weekend, which would have been Labor Day weekend. We sold, uh, I think we shipped out 60 some items, mm -hmm. which, but that includes whatnot. And so uh, we do appreciate, again, everybody coming out to our whatnot. And then uh, right here, we had some Craftsman in a lot. These were half inch drive, sold for $10 plus shipping. And they usually sell any pad at flat rate. That's how I do the shipping on those. And then we had a massager right here. These massagers aren't like created equally. Some of them sell for a lot. Some of them don't sell for a whole bunch. These, this is the like a lighter one. The bigger and heavier they are, the more they actually sell for, but there's usually a code on them. And uh, this one, all of them have a part number or model number. This, and it usually says model number on it. It's gonna be hard to see. But uh, just type that model number in and usually you can comp it out very easily online. That's over $15 plus shipping. And then the weather clock, I mean weather clock, this is a brr, weather station. It tells you temperature, barometer, tells you when it's going to be a bad hair day. $16 plus shipping. We had a lot of pin sell, $14 plus shipping. We had a Harley Davidson denim jacket 100th year anniversary. We've had this for a while and uh, we took an offer for $45 bucks plus shipping on that. Then we did have a tool cell, Craftsman Sander, Power Sander. It's a little belt sander, sold for $18.50 plus shipping. And then we had uh, these three plates that we've had probably for 75,000 years. Mm -hmm. They sold for eight bucks. Mm -hmm. Probably would stay away from the pewter plates. That's when back in the day, it's an old picture. This is on the first table that we had. That was like four years ago. So then this thing right here that fell over, this is a bullseye putter um m5p which is pretty interesting it's gonna be you can't really see it it's stamped on the bottom here you won't be able to see it because it's very lightly stamped and uh these all these bullseye putters all kind of look like this and some of them have different markings and honestly i don't i know it has to do with the age that they're worth you know a certain amount of money this is the most expensive one that i usually sell is the st5 is that what i said sp5 the um the std what? M5P. That's what it's called. I don't know. I don't make up the letters. But uh, 45 bucks. They usually sell for only like 10 to 15. If you find one that says SC in the middle, that means Scotty Cameron, uh, Titleist, that's going to go for probably like a 90 to 100 bucks. But I don't understand. I think it has a lot to do with the age of them. But that one right there, 45 bucks. Some dinosaurs sold. Some little baby Jurassic Park dinosaurs. 10.80. Plus shipping, ten dollars and eighty cents plus shipping. That ain't too bad. We had uh, a Ninja Blender cell, sixty-four ounce replacement. We just picked up a whole bunch of this stuff at the Goodwill for seven bucks. Parting it out was the easiest way to make a whole bunch of money real quick. Twenty-nine ninety-nine in what five minutes mm -hmm. plus shipping. So that's easy right there. These are some Allen Edmonds. We got these in the tent, if y'all remember. This is our last pair. Yep. Uh, we sold out of these very, very quickly, and we sold some of them for over two to three hundred dollars. This one right here is uh, forty-five bucks. That ain't too bad. Always remember that on Allen Emmons, there's a code. Type that code in. It's going to be on the inside. It'll tell you what type of leather it is, because that really dictates how much stuff is. The VTech Video Baby Monitor, twenty-seven dollars plus shipping, and then a tiny little. Ooh. She good in the neighborhood. <laughs> Tiny little socket. Seven bucks free shipping. Probably only a couple bucks made there. Now, we were just coming over here and we had a very weird return. I know that people are like, you know, don't let the returns get to you. This one's going to get to me because one, handy cams, usually never. This will be my first one ever that is returned. And I've sold like, what, 30, 40, 50 mm -hmm. handy cams? They usually work. If you turn them on, they work. This one says that the power isn't getting to it or something, which when I get it back, I'll be able to look at it. But I'm telling you right now, this is the most expensive handy cam. The crazy thing is, I was like, well, we haven't sold a handy cam in like months. We sold it on June 23rd, right? Mm -hmm. Somehow it's stating that it was delivered August 25th, mm -hmm. which is a month after, and then they're returning it on September 5th. Yeah. So we sold it. And then uh, eBay allowed the return. Yeah. eBay, they, they have the return going. It's like a $157 return. And I, number one, I'm telling you right now, the thing worked. I mean, if handy cams usually, I'm, I'm not going to say always work, but like something smells a little fishy here, right? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't know. Tell me down below. Maybe y'all have that. Maybe y'all, were they on vacation and 
they had to sign for it or something they were gone for a month we didn't put that the person had to sign for it no 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 i'm saying what happens if they were gone and had their um well it would still be delivered yeah. at their mailbox they would just have to go and pick their i don't know i have no idea um how it took a month to get there and which then allowed them to return it two and a half months later yeah something's a little fishy tell me down below if y'all ever had one of that happen this is just i think it's a little fishy and i don't like that it's over 60 days old and we got to take it back for something that i know when i sent it out 100 percent worked and usually if they don't take a hit they always work like that doesn't make any sense but it's a big return like 157 dollars, and we got 20 bucks into that one itself so we'll get it back uh, hopefully they send the right one back yeah we'll definitely make sure yeah we'll definitely okay. make sure of that because we always put the model numbers and everything on them and the serial numbers so um but i mean and then dad had a little scam of lamb some guy if you didn't know my dad is also a reseller and uh so like one year ago i got i guess this guy bought something from my dad and then like on the one year anniversary he gets sent a message stating that he never received it and he wants his money back or he wants the item he's like what that doesn't even make any sense did your dad say that ebay said it was delivered that you should tell him to call ebay that's what i i advise yeah. my dad to say hey tell that person it's over a year old you need to contact ebay yeah. and then they can tell me what to do because that's i'm not giving him his money back after a year that mm -hmm. you didn't stating that you didn't receive it that sounds like a scam of lamb a lot of <laughs> stuff going on on the ebay side of things but anyway um it's not bad these are pretty good sales we're happy for them at the storage unit and back from the dentist appointments how was your dentist appointment um it was an experience yeah dental procedures nowadays a little bit different than they were in the past but anyway moving on everybody has a good dental story from like the 90s and before that 80s <laughs> 70s you know and then you, you you like fast forward and then you go to the dentist now it's like a complete different experience yeah i'm a spa like right <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, snap sp spa prices. Moving on. Moving on. Snap on MT twenty five hundred nine. It's a adapter to a car. A scanning tool nine ninety nine plus shipping. Sears uh, Dowling jig. We just picked it up at a yard sale, so for eight dollars plus shipping. Pelican case twelve hundred. We actually had that for our camera, and honestly, we never used it. Mm -mm. Um, we always had the camera out in the car and everything, so we sold it for twenty one dollars plus shipping. We picked it up at a yard sale. We had two golf club sale one for 15 and one for 20 they're almost the exact same golf club they are the Taylor made super burner s90 bubble shaft again one 20 one 15 this is actually a pretty cool sale i forget where we picked these up i think they were at a um salvation army whole bunch of cupcake decorating hats that was goodwill goodwill john mm -hmm. deere ten dollars plus shipping this guy right here four dollars plus shipping on the this guy UFO obsessed? Obsession? That's oh, what it's called. Looks weird. You like UFOs. I like knowing about aliens and UFOs. I think it's pretty interesting. Interesting stuff. Grant, your Margaritaville glass is heading your way and RIP to Jimmy Buffett who has just passed away. Uh, a little bit of information about me. That has been the only concert I've ever gone to. I went to a Jimmy Buffett concert in Columbia, South Carolina when I was in college there. And it's the only concert I've ever been to. So, you got that. Ruku, $17 plus shipping. This guy right here is a little tiny train. I think he went for $5 plus shipping. And then we also had another viewer sale, which I can't get to right now because I ain't got no minutes. Give me one second. And Kent, you bought mag lights from us. I have so many. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to sell two of them. So I sold two of them, C and D cells. Uh, they're good mag lights. They both work very, very well. And also, we already did sell that cane, the Harley Davidson cane. Uh, that wasn't a real Harley Davidson cane. So that's not too bad. We're going to go. Oh, we sold some more stuff. We sold these uh, kids trainer putters. Actually, I guess they would just be regular putters for children. They sold for 25 bucks plus shipping. And that is it. Um... Sales are still a little slow for us, but we looked at our sheet last year, and it's about this slow. Mm -hmm. So it's normal. It's normal. It'll pick and back up. It'll pick back up.